Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ebbet. 1x. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Welcome to Eric Plays Undertale. I have played this before, but, you know, who cares really? Oh, you reset. I would have made hitting the record button on you significantly easier. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Ah. Shit. <laughs> back? No. This. No. Eh? Oh, thank god. Oh, oh no. you consider four to be? That was... Alright, whatever. Well, that was almost terrifying. Okay. <laughs> oh... I never really want to name a character after myself. Just... Doesn't feel right, you know? But... Then again, I guess I kinda got a... Something, right? So... is in the directions to bugging me. My name. Howdy. Chloe. Chloe the flower. Ah, uh, you're new to the end of the ground, aren't you? Sally, you must be so confused. I hope I'm not to teach you how things work around here. I guess a little me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That's your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you grant a lot of L. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. Love, don't ya? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through... ...little white... ...friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. Ow. Yes. <laughs> In this world, it's kill or be killed. How did anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die. 
Uh... Hey, I feel better. What a terrible creature torturing such a poor innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, your caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. Man, I forgot how, um... Unashamedly cheesy this... Yeah, fuck it. Let's revel in it. You're the first human to come here in a long time. Come. I'll guide you through the catacombs. This way. Let's go. The first shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. Hooray for a HP. Your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. Okay. Puzzle. To make progress here, you'll need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. This one. And this one. Splendid! I'm proud of you, little one. Let's move to the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You'll need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you'll enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. <laughs> Stall for time. I'll come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Stall for time, I'll come to resolve the conflict. Don't worry. Just like, uh... Bomb copper. Fucking no. Uh. Check it out. Cotton heart and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. I mean, it looks like it's gonna fall over. Uh. Talk to the dummy. Doesn't seem much of a conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You win. Earned no XP, no gold. Very good. Very good. Have, have a good one. Another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Oh god. Frog and attacks. Uh Shit, you didn't understand my compliment. But they're flattered anyway, so it worked out. You won. I mean, it's not that bad. Working out pretty well. Western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Okay. I just kind of got to do this over there, and then I'll be fine, right? Okay. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Sure, I'm glad that these spikes know to uh, go back inside the ground. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Ah, uh, right. Bit dangerous, but you've done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Why would you abandon me? What's a vine? Wow, 
walking. Hmm. Greetings. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I'll give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello? Hello? Toriel? Not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I've yet to explain. It, it'd be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, okay? Right. Ribbit. Ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. You act a certain way or fight until you almost beat them. They might not want to battle you anymore. The monster does not want to fight you. Please. Use some mercy, you ribbit. Very well, Frackett. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. Heck yeah. Oh no. Crimson approached meekly. You win! <laughs> Just take one. Take a piece of candy. Heck yeah. Take a piece of candy. A little awkward, but R1 is menu button because it couldn't be triangle. Let's not approach meekly. Get the fuck out of here. Hmm. This looks dangerous. What a waste of time. <laughs> Hello, Miss Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? I, I gotta give it to the butterscotch, man. Let's see. Thank you very much. Click. Hello, it's Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I, I, I understand. Thank you for being patient. But by the way, that the thanks, and. Simpson approached meekly. Dude, are you okay? Halfway through your first word, Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. Oh. Man... That's not cool. Hello? You do not have any allergies, do you? Why am I asking? N no reason. No reason at all. Alright. That's a long one. Uh. Get... <laughs> One step away. All the way down... As... Okay. Moldsmile blocked the way. Moldsmile. Six. Defense zero. Stereotypical? Curvaceously. Practice. No brains. Warch. Ugh. Oh no. High octane gameplay. <laughs> Try this again, but slightly different. Uh. No. It's for nerds. Whoosh. You mind I'm pushing rocks? Froggy and wins them. Oh no! Well, it made one of them you go. Froggit hops to and fro. Froggit! That was a good jump. They're flattered. The blush is deeply. Yeah. Get out of here. I got some money from that. Shh. Oh, they have had that. Who said you could push me around? I did with my mammalian arms. They're hmm. asking me to move over. Okay, just for you. Need to go a little further. Huh? I'm gonna move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Uh, it's a little in the wrong direction. Eh? Huh? That's the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. 
that helpful? Very much, thank you. And I need you to go back. Eh? You wanted me to stay there? Give me a real workout. Right. Playing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese. Bills you determination. What if I take the delicious cheese? Been here quite a long time. Back to the table. Cannot take the delicious cheese. Mouse might one day take it. You gone yet? Ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to be asleep. Live it with force. Out of the way! I'm gonna move you with force! Comes naps to Bluke. Uh... Sorry? Doing great? Gave naps to Bluke a patient smile. Eh. Oh, don't don't cry on me, man. That's the boot. Just a little better. Feeling great. Well, that's the look a little joke. <laughs> really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. Man, that's fair. Hearing seems to have improved their mood again. More cheers. We want to show you something. Cry. Call it Dapper Bluke. My god. Get a hat from your ears. That's the Bluke easy, eagerly awakes your response. Doing great. Oh no. Usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. <laughs> but today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Alright. Moving through. Yeah. Spider bake sale. All proceeds get a real spiders. Seven gold in the web. Don't have. Eighteen gold in the web. Don't have. More money. I friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk to skip through my words by pressing yeah. That's right. Yeah. Well, at least you listen to me. Can make you have full screen. What does that four stand for? Four frogs? You see the maximum of three frogs in this room. Rubbling. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Hello, Vegetoid. I'm hungry. Dinner. At your stomach. Vegetoid offers a hell of a meal. Eat your rings. Okay. Vegetoid cackles softly. Get out of here. Hey, I got more money. It makes it six and I need seven shit. Vegetoid, come back. I've heard you're quite massive for a human. Well, you know by now a monster was a yellow name when you spare it. What do you think of that? Very helpful. He's rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if their names are you. That sounds like a hint. You miss it? Spider bake sale down to the right? Can meet food made by spiders, four spiders, up spy- Ooh. Ooh, that- no, that- that checks out. Spiders kinda do that, but like... I don't know if I want it, per se. Vegetoid, I am hunger! Have my thanks! And don't hurt me with your carrot! Ow, he hit me with his carrot! Yay, more money! Now I can go buy a spider bake sale thing. Show my support for the spider community and also maybe bribe them not to eat me. Thanks for the donut. I gotta go. Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I've cleaned up. Not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things flying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. We'll want to leave room in your pockets for that. Translation. You cannot drop things from your inventory. You just want switch. Okay. Don't know where it is. 
my gasp. Crowd up close. Yeah, my gasp does not like to be talked to. Multiple balls exploding! He needs the best. I'm gonna dance. My god. My gosh, does I have a care in the world? Oh, you just really don't like Moat Small, I guess. That feels... overly mean, but like... You do you, I guess. Is it down or up? I'm a fool! A fool who is correct! Hey! <laughs> Hello. Which? Press it. Yeah! Nothing happened. Bar door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation of perspective. Which? Press it. Yeah! Nothing happened. Which? Press it. Yeah! Nothing happened. Ass crap. Hit button. You dance. My oh god. Get out of here. Press switch. Here, the clicking sound. Hooray! Luke's draw near. I don't want to pick on you. Finally, someone gets it. Ow, ow! Luke's is staring right through you. Yay, five gold and some minor, um, mental damage. Why is there spike? What do you want again? Yeah, 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 somebody gets it. Ashes your teeth. Calm down. Uh oh. There's some things others don't. I have no memory of this room. <laughs> Air clicking sound. Then back over here. Read this, press the blue switch. Okay, I did it. Read this, press the white, white switch. Hooray for puzzles. Oh no. A pair of Vegetoys came out of the ground! Feed me! My thanks, ow! Get you out of here! Pains, vitamin A! For a lot of pain! Now you have onions and things, you're a slightly different Vegetoid. Vegetoid's here for your health. I can gamble it. I could potentially get a whole lot of health from this. At your stomach, Vegetoid offers a hell of a meal. Yes. Vegetoid tackles softly. Yeah, fine, get out of here. Seeing if there's an option to change it away from the joystick, because those chat options are going a little crazy. Green is second, right? Yeah. Oh no, more Vegetoids. Right of a complete breakfast. Oh god, potato. Ah, okay. Why do you? Continually injure me and then feed me. Why do you feed the hungry? Yet bludgeon those who act against you. Corn! You no, know, I lost more than I've gained again! 
I'm dying. Green. Ingrid made it. Oh. You and me. I Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. Just carrying some groceries. Ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Ingrid. Get a knife. And the knife. Okay. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How'd you get here? Are you hurt? There, I'll, I'll heal you. Shouldn't have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I can't hide it any longer. Come, small one. Okay, let's go. Hey, save point. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Smell that? Surprise! The butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. I'll hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. But pie. <laughs> Flowers are dead. Nice smell. Too hot to eat, though. Damn. The house very clean. Fire magic. Is the cupboard or cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters? White fur is stuck in the drain. There's a brand named Chocolate Bar. It's not a for some reason. Fire isn't burning hot. Pleasantly warm. Put your hand inside. Mystery book, random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human acts we Far into the air if we walk until we reach the caverns. It's our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he's pretty lousy. At I respect that name. Into the tools have been filed down to make them safer. I'm not sure that's how that works. It's the phrase filed down and safer. This is it. What's it? A room of your own. I hope you like it. Something burning. Uh, make yourself at home. I think someone has been without human contact for a while, or any contact for a while. I've seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. Working mirror. It's you. Room under renovations. Set the drawer, flowers, broken crayons. Oriel's diary. Read the circle of passage. Of course. Read the passage. Why did a skeleton want a friend? Yes, she was feeling lonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. It's enough. Definitely bigger than a twin source. Encyclopedia of Subterranean Plants, you open the middle. I fill a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. And more commonly as water sausage. Talking about cattails? Who calls those water sausage? Who left this here on the ground? And it's like a baby there, they pie. Don't leave food on the ground. Not only is that an obvious mess in and of itself, but it cracks ants. Alrighty, I see. Now I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. So many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I also prepared a curriculum for your education. Oh yay, teacher stuff. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Really, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Bill, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, uh, did you want something? What is it? Uh, when can I go home? 
I mean, like, you're being very inviting, but to be honest, feels oddly kidnapping ish. <laughs> what? This is your home now. Uh, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Uh. Sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? Interesting. Yeah? Well, bother me if you need anything else. Oh, how do I get out of here? I have to do something. Stay here. Okay. Eyes of the pie intimidates you too much for eating. But what if I'm really hungry? I have just slept, and we had a slice of pie, which still lives in my inventory, so I didn't eat it. Knife. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins, on my exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now, be a good child and go upstairs. Uh, no. Gotta go, man. Every human that falls down. Same fate. Seen it again and again, they come, they leave. I... Naive child, if... Leave the ruins. They as kill you. I'm only protecting you. You understand. Go to your room. I am a delinquent. Not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Want to leave so badly? <laughs> like the others. Only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you're strong enough to survive. Listen, lady, I have determination. Not much else. Didn't think of any conversation topics. Ow. Or I was acting aloof. Ow. I'm really bad at this game. Oh god, there's fire everywhere. Oh yeah, looks through you. Uh oh. I really need to swap that to the directional buttons. I mean, what do you want me to do? Showcase my violent tendencies? Nah, that normally doesn't go well. I'm just gonna see how much you really want to burn me to death. I have a sneaky suspicion it's not all that much. Attack or run away. It's a deep breath. What are you proving this way? That I can sometimes pull off a sick dodge. Fight me or leave. Ow. <laughs> at me that way. In what way in particular? You're gonna have to speak up through my burn wounds. Go away. Go for present magical attack. Uh-oh. Takes a deep breath. Come on. you want to go home, but... Please. Stairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you here. 
I know we don't have much, but... I have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please go upstairs. <laughs> eh. Pathetic, isn't it? Can't save even a single child. Eh. No, I understand. You'd just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. Wouldn't be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations blooming this year. For you... Ida. Really wish to leave the ruins. I won't stop you. However, if you leave, please don't come back. I hope you understand. My burn wounds. Ah. Bye. Gonna go see if I can get some pie. Maybe just hang out by that determination point. Yeah, I know it's gonna like torture her mentally, but um, right now 90% of my body is a giant burn wound. Yay! <laughs> my health. Not hiding someone in the house. Give it a once over. Room under construction. Renovation. Sorry. She's ran. Okay. Get back out of here. I really likes these long hallways. Hi. Gonna try to kill me again? Clever. Very clever. I think you're really smart, don't you? Where will this killer be killed? I say this a lot. You were able to play by your own rules. Spared the life of a single person. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. What will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and die. So you could get tired of trying. What do you do then? You kill out of frustration? Or you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. The prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little mom. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. All right. Nice interaction. Never speak to me again. Titled. Toby Fox. We did that. Wow. Must have been the wind. It's a 
stupid looking wall. Great job. <laughs> and the old whooping cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Zan, Zan Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but uh, no. I don't really care about capturing anybody. Brother Virus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Can't go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyway. Thanks. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. What's up, bro? Now what's up, bro? Days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. Just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? There is this lamp. Really cool look. No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? Want to be ready. The one must be the one. Capture a human. Then I, the great virus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I may be able to join the royal guard. You will ask to be my friend. I'll bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Huh. Maybe this lamp will help you. Not helping. Lazy boy. We do is sit around and boondoggle. Not the boondoggling. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. Gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. <laughs> Dance. Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. Why does someone as great as me to do so much just to get some recognition. Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Ah, I will attend to my puzzles. That's for your work. Put a little more... Backbone into it. <laughs> hey. Okay, you can come out now. Gotta get going, he might come back, and if he does, I have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Good point. Actually, hey, I hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Okay. Convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. There's a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Is the box? Yes. Got a tough glove. I have a stick. Hello, Resident Evil Box. It's nice to see you again. You're always there when I need you. Whipped the glove. Ah, uh, thing went into my inventory. Alright. Hey. Knife did. Sorry, knife. No, Drake, flood is forth. Uh. No, Drake, attack 12, defense 7. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Macaronian freeze. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Edric realized its own name is a pun and is freaking out. Haha! <laughs> laugh at his pun. He laughs. That was wrong. Edric is pleased with its cool joke. Out of here. Fish. Fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yes. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. I did not call. The fight. Speaking of call. But he picked up. Oh. He's screening your calls. So, as I was saying about Undyne. Spinning. And oh my god, is that a human? Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Ow. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? I finally did it. And Dino. I'm gonna be so popular. Popular, popular. <laughs> Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. That's what it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. And this... This is a lot. Oh, well. Ice cap struts into view. Tried to steal Ice Cap's hat. It's not weakened enough. You know what? If... God, this could potentially hurt me a little bit. Let's get make sure its hat is still there. When Farm Ice Cap that it has a great hat. Yeah, who doesn't know? Oh shit, oh no. This is really complicated whenever the joystick's too sensitive. Ice Cap also wants a hat for its nose. When Farm Ice Cap that it has a great hat. That's too loud for me to hear you. Take this sound wave looking attack. Try to steal Ice Cap's hat, but it's not weakened enough. Darn it. Guess I need the icy indifference. Managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. Looks annoyed. No? My hat's up here. Secretly checking if you're looking at his hat. Continue not looking at his hat. Seems defeated. Okay, I'll ignore you too. Needs to attack me with Mario pipes and icebergs. Ice Cap's desperate for attention. Haha! <laughs> you tried to steal Ice Cap's hat. And succeeded. It melted your hand. I... Ice Cap is no more. Ice. To inform Ice Cap that it still looks fine. I wanted you to see me as cool. Ice Cap doesn't mind its identity. And for Ice Cap that it still looks cool. You're, you're still cool, man. Just be yourself. You don't need your hats. If the hat is all you are, then you don't need the hat. It just brings you down. The narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you panda? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Nope, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Absolutely no moving. Have to move. Imagination. I can only see moving. Was moving. Sure, it never moved again. Doggo blocks the way. Move an inch.
Dago can't seem to find anything. I'm not here, ignore me. Don't think it's working. Must resort to more devious tactics. Pet Dago. I've been pet. And now it's losing its goddamn mind. Dago has been pet. Let's do so again, you pet doggo. Where is that coming from? Pet. Pot, pet, pot, pet, pot. Well, this is thorough. Pet, pet, pot. Pet doggo. Okay, that's enough. Dago has been pet. Okay, that's enough, gotcha. <laughs> it's now just annoyed. Get out of here. Something at me. They're not moving. I need some dog treats for this. Hmm. The implications. Hello. Hey, there's something important to remember. Brother has a very special attack. Be a blue attack, don't move, and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way, to, yeah, easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. Be a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue one instead. Simple, right? I'm fighting, think about blue stop sign. I'll be honest. Most of this game has left my mind. Just because. Reasons. That piece of information, that sentence, lives there forever, and I can't get rid of it. So there must be some method to that madness. But actually, apparently, it works pretty damn well. Alright. We... North ice, south ice, west ice, east snowed in town, and ice. Who'd have thought? Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. You would be so kind, traveler. Please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Thank you. Good luck. I got the snowman piece. All right. Well. So lazy! I've been napping all night. That, yeah, that's called sleeping. I think that's called... Sleep, thank you. Excuses! Ah, oh, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one... quite shocking. Well, you see, this is the invisible... electricity maze! When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have. Actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh. Okay. What did I run into? Hold this, please. Okay, try now. Do I- do I humor him? Okay. I have been zapped! It hurt! Quite a lot, actually. No, it didn't hurt at all! <laughs> Incredible! You slippery snail! You solved it so easily! Oh, easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is disguised, designed by my brother Sam. You will surely be confounded, I know I am. <laughs> hey, uh, thanks. Brother seems like he's having fun. Uh, by the way, see the weird outfit he's wearing? 
I made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. You guys have different bodies. Like, I know you're skeletons, but like... Does your consciousness reside solely in your head? Or, like, does your body move if it's not connected? I have so many questions I'll never get answered. And my brother, cool. Yeah. Oh. Don't understand why these aren't selling. It's perfect weather for something cold. Oh, uh, customer. Hello, would you like some nice cream? The frozen treat that warms your heart, now just 15G. No. Oh. Well then, tell your friends. There's ice cream out in the middle of the woods. Yeah. <laughs> woods ice cream. I mean, what's the phrase? Respect the hustle. Or something similar. Who knows? Ah, you're all, all human. Here you go, have a super fun day. Got the nice cream. No ball. No, no, not the ice. Bad. So staying still is bad. No. Oh. I'm thinking about selling treats too. And some fried snow. Just 5G. Sure. If 5G I meant 50. You're right. Still too low. Right. No danger rating. Smell snowman. White rating. And become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell of puppy. Blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smells. Human screen rating. Destroy at all costs. Hers. Is. Don't have the fine motor control I want to have. Actually slightly infuriating. Go down. Go. Hey. Yay. Concern and care for ball let you do that let you win. You are awarded 1G. This flag has nothing else to offer. Looks like a snowball. Actually, a decahedron. Thanks. Camera hidden inside this lump of snow. <gasps> Alright, thanks for the conspiracy theories. Away we go. Gentlemen, I hope you're ready for... And where's the puzzle? Right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. No, a word search. They quit. Go away. They didn't do anything. Whoops. Knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? Can't believe you said that. My opinion, Junior Jumbo is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That's easy peasy word scramble? What's your baby bones? Unbelievable. Give himself this dispute. Which is harder? The word jumble. You must look very intelligent. I also find Junior Jumbo so difficult. <laughs> and securities. Interesting Junior Jumbo just to appease my brother. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. I mean... You looked at those things, they are very mysterious. Trying to understand them is... That's a breach of cosmic power. Beyond mortal understanding. Or undead and whatever the fuck you are understanding. <laughs> Note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know, spaghetti is a trap. Designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly shaped akin by the great Papyrus. 
Meh. <laughs> the tires. Made of frozen spaghetti. So cold it's stuck to the table. An unplugged microwave. All the settings say spaghetti. Microwave spaghetti sounds wrong. I know. I've I've been there. I've lived that life. But like, given the option, <laughs> just you find another way. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti fills you with determination. As it should. I believe in you, mouse.